let's add this checkup um, so that we check whether the user has wishes has wish listed the item or not. Um, so I'm going to create this function, which will receive as a parameter the post ID, and it needs to get the current user so that it can check uh, whether it has um, added the item or not. And we're going to get all of the metadata of the user that has the tag wanted posts. So we're going to call this values, and the function is called get user meta. See how we used to previously get post meta. This is used in the same way. It will um, give us uh, um, an array as a result with the values. We, get, we pass it the ID of the user, and the key that we are interested in is called wanted posts. Now we iterate through this array, and we check each one of them if they are the same or not as our post ID. If they happen to be the same, we return true because it means the user already picked the current article and marked it as a wish listed item. If the article ID is not found within our user saved the metadata, we return false because that means that the user has not um, provided um, that preference before. Let's, let's um, test this, see if it's working. Um, just going to add to wish list, and I'm, I'm getting this because I should change this part as well. We're not going to do anything for the time being. If I look in the database, see that we are adding number seven. If I click again, it shouldn't have added it again, so we're all good. And if I remove it and try again, now it should be there like before. And regarding the JavaScript, um, we may want to just get rid of, um, we may want to show something back to the user, and it would be good to select the, the div um, that we defined previously and just say you want this as a response so that um, we read of the page and if we add this it will say that you want this. <laughs>